story of Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie. Warner Anderson as Matthew Swain. Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi. And Mia Farrow as Allison McKenzie. After a shocking accident, there's always an aftermath of reflected shock to those closest to the victims. Allison McKenzie and Norman Harrington are coming of age abruptly in a hostile adult world. It was nice of you to walk me home, Norman. Glad you, Allison. You feel that? What? The air. Yeah, it's getting cold. Yeah, it's ending an Indian summer. It always ends suddenly. So many things do. Were you thinking the same thing I was? Such a short time ago. We heard the train whistle. The train bringing Dr. Rossi to town. Rod was with Betty, and we were just walking home from the library. I never thought anything could happen so fast, did you? Yes, but not to me. Well, night, Norman. Allison? Hmm? I forgot your lamp. Oh, yeah. So did I. I waited for Uncle Matt to come back from the hospital. Uncle Matt. Why do you say it that way? He doesn't want me to call him that anymore. Oh? He says I should pack the Uncle Matt. Oh, just the uncle. He said I should pack it away with the rest of my childhood. Well, what do you think, Mother? Should I? Well, I, I think you'll have to decide that. A few hours ago, I might really have thought this was Aladdin's lamp. And all I had to do was rub it, and all my wishes would come true. What would you have wished for? Right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess that Rodney and Betty hadn't had the automobile accident. But that's happened, Allison. Then I guess that Betty'd be all right. And Rodney? He wasn't hurt. I know that. I called the hospital. What about you? Am I hurt? Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Well, I'll have to think it through for myself. Anderson? Oh, yes. I have some coffee heating. It should be ready by now. No, thank you. Nurse, have you heard any more about my daughter, Betty? Yes, she'll be all right. I guess she was pretty lucky. Yeah. Rod called again about your daughter. Well, isn't that nice? Dr. Rossi. How is she back? She's sleeping now. Oh, it's all right, Doctor. Yeah, no secrets from George. Well, you'd better know now. She lost the baby. I want to be with you when you tell her. We understand, Doctor. How about Betty? Well, I'd like to keep her here a couple of nights. Give her everything she needs, will you? You too. Be kind to her. Gentle. Let her know she's loved. We do. Well, I thought I'd say it anyway. Well taken, Doctor. Doctor, can I see you now? After you've had a good night's rest. Now, you heard the doctor. I'm going to take you home and make sure you get a good night's rest. Come on. Doc. 
Good night, Doctor. Good night, George. Hardly a scratch. Well, maybe I better wait until you finish breakfast before I earn my fee. No, I've had enough. You sure you won't have more? I'll be back when doctor's finished. Maybe you should have some more breakfast. First, tell me if I'm eating for two. Well, right now, I think you ought to take care of yourself, Betty. You have an easy way of putting the news across, don't you, doctor? I didn't know there was an easy way. I'm sorry. Well, look into this light, huh? Please. I'm going to have to examine you. I feel lovely. Well, you had a mild concussion. Betty, you want to put this on? No. Have you seen Rod? He wanted to see you last night. I wanted to see him. Well, there's no reason why you can't have visitors. I just don't want you to get tired, so. I'll drop in this evening. Thank you. I'm not going to have a baby. It's all over, Betty. We were there in the car. Betty, you have your whole life ahead of you. My whole life. I told him. I wanted to hear him say he loved me. Oh, don't, Betty. He was going to marry me. He didn't say he loved me, but he was going to marry me. Betty, it's over. For your sake, it's got to be over. I don't want it to be over. I wanted the baby. For the right reasons. I wanted Rod. I wanted things to be the way they were before. Things are never the way they were before. You've got to learn that as a hard lesson, but you've got to learn it. This solves everything, doesn't it? Oh, Betty. It's all settled. You don't even have to hold your breath anymore, Mother. You don't have to tell Daddy now. Your father knows. You said you wouldn't tell him. Betty, he has a right to know he loves you. Does Rod know you're not going to have the baby? Betty, someone has to tell him. I'm tired, Mom. I know. Betty, if you want me to, I'll tell him. I'll please. tell him. I want to think first. I want to rest, but I'll tell him. I just want you to give it more thought. I can't think about it. I know what I have to do. Who are you doing this for? Betty? The child? It'll be your grandchild, won't it? I mean, that, that means something, doesn't it? Yes, Rod, it does. But you mean more. There's nothing you can do. We'll see, son. Please, let me work this out myself. Rod, I don't want you... I have to go now. Dad, I appreciate everything. All right, son. downtown early? Yeah. Hey, that was some Founders Day festival you had yesterday. Well, I'm sorry the way it ended for you. Yeah. You know that Rossi fella fools you? We just might make a decent doctor out of him yet. <laughs> well, tell your friends you could use the business. Ha, <laughs> ha, Don't worry. A couple of weeks, I'll be sending him lots of business. Well, you've just twitched my well-known nose for news. <laughs> I meant to give it a good hard yank. A nice office up over the bank. Amos Barclays. 
George, what are you up to? Ah, uh, nice fellow, Amos. Of course, he's not as young as he used to be. The insurance business demands a, a younger man, a go-getter. Well, I did hear Amos wanted to sell out. Matt, are you trying to pump me? George, are you thinking of going back into the insurance business? Eh, it's a little early for me to give you any direct quotes, Matt. But a couple of days, I expect to see my picture dominating the front page. Well, have you given it a lot of thought? <laughs> All right, Matt. The last time I had the agency, sure, I made a couple of mistakes, but who doesn't? You know, breaks. I just didn't get them. Luck was against me. Well, at least now you're sure of a paycheck every week. Yeah, but a man can't look after his family out on the road, Matt. You told Les? No, that'll have to wait. Les is just going to have to get along without any of the Anderson family. Julie's quitting, too. Julie's helping me. It's going to be an Anderson family venture. Allison. Hello, Rodney. You're all right. Hardly scratched. How's Betty? Uh, she's going to be okay. You sure? Yes. Uh, let me just put these in the car. My, my mother's not... Uh... I know. I'd like to talk to you. Well... I've got to, Alice. The square looks awfully empty, doesn't it? Yeah, Founder's Day is over. Founder's Day? Was it a good day for you, Alison? Yes. It was a big day for me. You don't have to talk about it. I haven't yet. I told you to go and talk to Betty. I have to tell you something. Alison, these, these past few days, I've really known it was like you hit a row switches. I mean, that's just how it was. What are you saying? Just that. Sounds, sounds like a game again. It isn't. Something's changed. It wasn't a game for me, Allison. All those things I told you, they weren't moves or something. I meant them. I meant them, Allison. No matter what happens, remember, I meant every word I ever said to you. No matter what happens. You make it sound so final. Is it? I don't know, but I think it is. sure you're comfortable. You have everything you want. Would you draw the blinds, please? Uh, sure. And then pop my pillows, Mr. Harrington. And then perhaps you might want to read to me, Mr. Harrington. All right, Betty. You'll make your point. There's nothing I can do that someone else can't do as well. Oh, better. Rodney, for example. For example. Now, what is the reason for your visit, Mr. Harrington? Rodney. At least you're honest. I try to be. What happens when you're not? People can be hurt. Is my mother people? In your mind, at least, maybe I deserve that. You do. I can see I'd better spell it right out. You know, growing up can be painful. Something like this, well... You shouldn't have to face these things. You should be able to think of your future and all the rich, wonderful experiences ahead of you. I'll be discharged soon. How soon? Dr. Rossi says by the end of the week. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Betty. Thank you, Mr. Harrington. I want you to know that I feel badly about all this. So do I, Mr. Harrington. Why, naturally, of course you do. To be perfectly frank, even though my first consideration has been Rod, I've also been thinking about you too, Betty. 
Your future, as well as Rod's. You believe that, don't you? Why shouldn't I, Mr. Harrington? Well, I don't know. Your, your father. You talked with my father? Last night, briefly. I hope he... He's a good salesman, isn't he? Yes. You'll remember that, won't you, Mr. Harrington? I'll try to, Betty. I want to talk about you and Rod. You know I have no feelings against you, Betty. How do you say that, Mr. Harrington? Why do you interrupt me? Because you keep telling me to believe you. The more you keep saying that, the more I ask myself exactly why you're here. I want to know that, Mr. Harrington. I don't think it's time just yet to become a father-in-law. I know you're going to have a baby. See? Well. Oh, Mr. Harrington, not well. You finish it. He doesn't love you. Go on. Betty. If you'd go away, I'd see that you're comfortable. We can put the baby up for adoption if you want to. Talk to Rod? Well, yes, of course we talk. We... Betty, it would be foolish for both of you to tie yourselves to each other. And miss out. I'd miss out, wouldn't I? I'd miss out on... What was that you said? On all the rich, wonderful experiences ahead of me. I meant that, Betty. I guess I'd better go. You really did mean it, didn't you? sure they're taking good care of her. Well, that's very nice of you. She looks fine. I'm glad to hear that. I'm trying to be helpful, George. I appreciate that, Les. I told the cashier to bill me. Bill you for what? The hospital expenses, of course. Well, I'm surprised to hear you're even thinking about that, Les. There are far more important considerations. We talked about them last night. You talked, George. Yes, and you were listening, weren't you, Les? I'd like you to come down to the office. Today? Or out to the club. The club? We could make it lunch. I don't think so, Les. I don't think so. I do want to talk to you, George. We'll talk, boss. We will. Hey there, princess. Look who just galloped across the drawbridge. Hey. You. Hey, come on. I get a better reaction from buyers I meet out of town. <laughs> You better watch your step. I'll find myself another brunette on this floor who can use some companions. <gasps> Princess? Huh? Betty? Hey, what is this? Tears? I thought we'd had it with tears. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Oh, 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 baby, there. Let it go. Let it all out. <laughs> She was awful, just terrible. That's all right. Daddy's here. Daddy's here now. I want to go home. Yes, yes. What happened? When can I go? What? You can go soon. Soon, Princess. Was it Leslie? Did he say anything? No, Daddy. Please don't ask me. Come on, Princess. Tell me. Tell me, Betty. Come on now. That's it. Come on. You tell me. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm not going to have the baby, so it doesn't matter. I should have told him. And he wouldn't have had to make his big offer. Did he offer you money? It was my own fault. Oh, how oh, oh, much have we got to take from them? It's all done. Daddy, when can you take me home? I'm not going to let them get away with this, Betty. I don't care anymore. I wanted Rod, and that's finished now. Is it? He wouldn't have sent his father here if he cared anything. Anything at all. 
A kid like that couldn't make that deal. He made me feel so cheap. <sighs> Leslie did it. It was Leslie who came in here. I knew Rodney didn't love me, but... Daddy, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Honey Bunch, we never have talked about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I know what I must have done to you. Oh, Princess, that doesn't matter. I'm not important. You are. It's over. Do you still want that boy? Do you think if you and he got married that you could make him love you? I don't know. You must have known something last night. That was last night. Everything's different now. Well, he doesn't know that. He doesn't have to know it. I can't. If you want something, Princess, go after it. Like this? Why not? You had something once. I saw you two together. Believe me, I know the real thing when I see it. It was a long time ago. Well, why not make it happen again? Give yourself a break. You've bought enough misery for one little girl. When are you going to get your own back? What is my own dad? What is it? Whatever you want to live with. It's that simple, honey. Is it? Come in. Oh, Mr. Anderson, I'm sorry. I, let, let me just wait out. No, that's all right. Come in, Rodney. Oh, I can wait out. No, no, no. Those are nice flowers. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very thoughtful of you, Rodney. Here, let me take them to the floor, nurse. She can put them in the box. Oh, you don't have to bother. No bother, Rodney. about the accident. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry you got hurt. I would have stayed last night, but they chased me out of here. How are you? I don't know. Right now, I'm sort of mixed up. Betty, listen. Suppose I just disappeared. I didn't say that. You never thought it? Wouldn't it solve everything for you if I just went away? Is that what you want? I'm talking about you, Rodney. I'm not in this alone. Betty, I just wanted to do what was right. For whom? Well, for both of us. Well, for everyone. You're not used to the idea yet, are you? I know how you feel. No, you don't, Rod. I have to be able to hold my head up. We'll get married. It's the only way, isn't it? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be angry, but I was hurt last night. Well, you're all right now, aren't you? I mean, they told me. Yes, I'm all right now, just about. Rod. You don't have to say anymore. Rod, I'm trying to tell you. Listen, it doesn't matter now. It's okay. Well, that's all that really matters, isn't it? Yes, Rod. That's what matters most to me now. Will you stay a while? Sure. I'm not going anywhere now. <laughs> oh, Betty, I didn't mean that. I... Listen, I'm going to try. I'm really going to try. Preview from the continuing story of Peyton Place. Well, he'll be extra careful on a night like this. A night like this, George? Where are they? George, where is Betty? Betty, open the door. 